I'm RJ Mitty, and this segment is brought to you by the Elks Lodge of New Mexico. If you move to Los Angeles and you don't go to school, you don't join a gang, and you don't act, you got no business being here, unless you're from here. <laughs> My name is RJ Mitty, I'm an actor and philanthropist. I started acting to meet kids my own age and that set me down this path. Like, I didn't think about cerebral palsy. For me, that wasn't even a thought. No, I had people that would tell me that I could do anything and I had people that told me that I could do nothing. And I think it's finding that balance of what you can and, and can't do and making the decision to change that. Because can'ts and cans are decisions. You have to choose to make that decision. Like, I am going to do that or I can't do that. And I either have to want this or need this. And if you want it, you can say can't to it. But if you need it, you can't say can't. Growing up, my mother's side had a farm in North Louisiana and my father's side had a ranch in South Texas. And uh, I always grew up traveling and, and moving. So working on Breaking Bad was probably the most stable uh, my life has ever been. And so that was my whole teenage life. I spent in Albuquerque and made my friends and relationships and, and loves and it, it was sad to have to let all of that go because I had to kind of when the show was done just just let go of that life. New Mexico is probably one of the most beautiful states I've been to you know they, they don't call it the land of entrapment for nothing because man once you're there you're, you're there they trap you you're, you're not leaving. I didn't have a dream to be an actor. I had ambitions but not the ambitions I have now. I think as a whole on discrimination of, of disabilities and kind of we're in a time of intolerance. It's really hard in the disability community to find your community because a lot of times they lump you in with everyone or you get segregated into to, to a group and then you get trapped. I find I need other kids with cerebral palsy so they can see that, that, that leveling and that growth. For me, my philanthropy and my work varies from place to place and individual to individual. Sometimes it's just hanging out with kids and, and talking about anti-bullying and talking about being a first person and being leaders and, and the reminder that no one is born a follower. You, you have to make that decision because if you get stuck on that block, you'll never get past it. And you will always find the same people that discriminate against you or look down upon you. And you, you can't let that alter your life.